Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. In this video, we're going to be unboxing this lovely 13mm bench top drill press from Lumberjack. They were nice enough to send this to me because, well, apparently, I can't drill any holes straight. And the thing that I'm making needs holes that are straight. And I can't do it. So, let's get this one unboxed, let's get it built, and let's try it and see how it is. Okay, so this is the Lumberjack DP13-580B. Now, I know that means a lot to everyone, but for me, it means absolutely nothing. But this is a 13 millimeter bench top drill press. It has 50 millimeters of downwards cutting, and I'm gonna see how much it can fit underneath it, because the pieces that I wanna cut are thicker than that, so I'm gonna have to do it from two sides. But let's get this one built and see how we get on, shall we? Okay, because I know I'm going to be doing some slightly harder wood with uh, quite a large um, force in a bit, I am going to change the belt speed. So I'm just going to undo this, open it up, and you can see the lovely array of belts there. So I'm not very au fait with belts and speeds and stuff, but I know that the higher I go, the faster it is, and the lower I go, the slower it is. So I'm going to put it down lower in order to get it all lovely for cutting some wool. What I'm going to do for this is I'm just going to drop this belt down a little bit. The tension is already undone. I'm going to drop this down and let it roll over until it's loose. And I'm going to go again until I'm on the bottom one. That means that I can get this back one lined up and roll it around while pushing down again to get it on to the bottom bit. I'm then going to tension it with this one, so I'm going to push it out and do it up. So it's just got that little bit of tension. And now that is ready to do some drilling. One thing I am going to do straight off the bat is with the chuck, I've got one of these neodymium magnets and I'm just going to keep it right there because then I know exactly where the chuck is every time because that is 100% going to lose. So the reason I actually wanted this and the reason I reached out to Lumberjack was because I make these lovely big hammers, as you know, and I also make the teeny weeny little hammers, as you know. But I wanted to make something in the middle. A nice little joiner's mallet for dovetails and intricate woodwork where something big and beefy like that, this is too big for the job. And obviously the little ones are just decorative. So I wanted to make something like this. Now this is the first prototype where you will see a video on this one soon, but that looks like that. But trying to drill through a nice square hole with uh, a hand drill isn't really working. So I bought this one and I wanted this one so I could drill bits like this. So I've got this lovely bit of walnut, which I'm gonna put a hole in and we'll see how we get on, shall we? So I've had this machine now for a good few weeks and I've been playing with it. I've cut some walnuts, some oak, some oak with purple heart in the middle, some ash, some cherry, 
You name it, I've done it. I've used small bits, big bits, forcing bits, spade bits. You name it, I've tried it through this machine and I love it. For the size of workshop that I've got and the things that I'm making, this is perfect. I don't really need anything bigger. If you're looking for a small machine, this is very good. If you want to drill 100 mil holes, this obviously isn't the machine for you, but if you're looking for just doing small holes in up to 50 mil, this is perfect. I've had no issues with it so far. Sometimes the chuck slips when I'm tightening up a bit, but that could be my inexperience because I've never owned one before. So it could be fine, but in my experience, it is a little bit slippy. The thing with the little one is it hasn't got much power. So if you're going to try and use a forcing a bit on a anything but the lowest speed, it's going to start to stall on you. But apart from those teeny tiny issues, this is a lovely machine to use and a perfect addition to my little workshop. So go and pick yourself up one if you want it. If you've got any questions about it, reach out. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Either Instagram me or put some in the comments and I will respond to you as soon as I can. Now, I'm gonna go and find out what I'm gonna do next. Probably make a sword. So uh, I will see you later. Bye.